This is the intro to the module Perspectives on Learning and Instruction, in which we're going to explore three different theoretical perspectives on the way learning and instruction have been studied. But before we start to do that, I would like to zoom in on a very old piece of art, a fresco made by Raphael and shown in the Vatican Museums in, in Rome. Here you see a very famous school, a virtual school, uh, the School of Athens, in which I myself very much would like to have been a, a teacher because all the famous philosophers are there. You see uh, Socrates sitting there on the stairs, but more importantly, we will zoom in on two very famous philosophers, Plato and Aristotle. Plato on the left is pointing upwards with his uh, digit finger and Aristotle is, is, is pointing uh, in front of him to the world around him. Why these two philosophers here at the start of this module on learning and instruction? Well, uh, they are a source of inspiration for many philosophers to come and many learning theorists to come. Plato is pointing upwards because he considers the world of pure ideas somewhere up in the heavens as the source of our knowledge. The world of pure ideas um, has in store all the knowledge we as human beings can develop. And when we are born as human beings, we are already uh, gifted with this knowledge basically. It's, it's inborn. All we have to do is just recollect what has been stored in our mind already. All learning is but recollection, as Plato phrases it. Now, the view of Aristotle is completely opposite, because he considers the world around us as the source of our knowledge. So we have to do, we have to act and to explore the world, to experience in order to collect knowledge. Uh, to learn. So learning is a matter of experiencing the world around us. Concrete experience is the basis of all learning and knowledge acquisition. So these two positions are completely opposite and they have inspired in fact a lot of theorists. Therefore I would like to draw your attention to, the, to both of these old famous philosophers. Just focus on uh, a modern philosopher um, uh, called uh, Noam Chomsky, a famous linguist. His idea is that um, people are born with what he calls a language acquisition device, a piece of equipment which enables us to develop language skills and to develop the use of language. Now this is basically such an inborn thing, such an inborn uh, device, which is part of Plato's idea of Everything has been inborn and just has to be activated. A, a, an example of such a, a failing activation is basically the, 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 the story of L'Enfant Sauvage, the wild child, which was di di discovered in 1800 by a Parisian um, doctor um, who tried to raise him and to try to teach him language skills. Because the, the boy had passed the, the particular age, the critical period in which he would have been able to develop these skills without hearing the knowledge um, in the boots where he was raised. Um, therefore, he could not, you know, later on develop this um, mastery of, of language anymore. And a very nice uh, film made by François Truffaut, so if you have the chance you should uh, try to see it. So this is the, 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 the Plato side, and perhaps you can also give one example of a philosopher, of a, uh, a, 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 um, a philosopher who actually adopts the Aristotelian point of view. John Dewey, a famous American pedagogue and philosopher, who emphasized that experience is the base of our knowledge. We learn by doing, not by observing. You cannot learn to play football by just observing football matches. That the spectator position, as Dewey 
called it is not a proper place to learn. Therefore, we have to act, we have to experience, and in the course of this acting and experiencing, we will gradually develop language, uh, learning and, and also knowledge, of course. So these two um, uh, relatively modern philosophers and theorists do uh, 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 re uh, remind us of the old positions of Plato and Aristotle, and therefore I would like to start with them. Um, we will return to these positions later on in this uh, module. Okay, now we can just have a look at what we are going to do in the module. We are going to uh, subsequently explore behaviorism, cognitivism and constructivism as pers uh, theoretical perspectives on learning and instruction. And eventually we will discuss a few research methods which are used by uh, researchers in this particular domain.